Hello there, motor test of the week. Um, this week I'm going to be testing another Ghoul RC motor. Um, this one's going to be again in a ducted fan. Uh, but this one is a 29 by 68 and it's 3800 kV uh, 4 pole brushless in runner motor um, unfortunately um, again like I've said before they've stopped shipping uh, these to the UK on anywhere on eBay um, so it's a bit annoying um, to find anywhere else that does them um, but I like these motors, they're pretty decent. Uh, let's have a look at the specs list. Um, let's show a few pictures. Yeah, pretty nice looking motors. Alright, let's go down to the specs. Right, here we are on the specs list. Like I said it's uh, 3800 kV, it says it's maximum of 60,000 RPM. Uh, it's rated to 1800 watts, so that's 1800 watts, and a max voltage of uh, 16 volts. Um, it's got 4mm bullet connectors already fitted, uh, it's got 4mm shaft, and the weight of the motor is 184.4 grams. Alright, so yeah, if we um, Basically, I've already done this. Uh, if you divide uh, 1800 watts by 16 volts, it reckons it can take 112.5 amps, which is pretty damn high. Um, it says max voltage is 16 volts, so that would be on 4 cell. Um, but let's see how we go on that um, yeah pretty decent motors um, they're not very expensive was it what was that price there is twenty one point uh, dollars seventy six cents so uh, not too bad uh, the fan I'm fitting it in is a seventy millimeter chain sun fan um, and this is a four bladed fan. I thought I'd give this a try. Um, something a bit different, four bladed fan. Uh, it's very expensive though. Wherever you find these, they are very expensive. Uh, that is pounds, that is uh, 19 pounds 95. So it's, uh, yeah, very expensive. And to be honest, when I got it, the quality, uh, yeah, it's not really. <laughs> what I would say warrants spending that amount of money um, on basically a 70 mil fan. Um, it's the housing is pretty much exactly the same as one that you can get from Hobby King for five quid. So that would be five pounds. So it's it's not um, that brilliant. The rotor, however, is pretty tough. Um, yeah, the blades are very thick plastic, so it can take a lot of power. Um, very weird, very tiny uh, nose uh, cone nut on there. Um, warning though, the adapter that they supply uh, with this is complete rubbish. The uh, yeah, the motor adapter is terrible. I, I tried it with that, and it's. It's complete rubbish. The whole of the rotor wobbles, and uh, basically it was unusable. Could not use it. Um, luckily, I had uh, another uh, adapter from something else um, that I had already uh, modified slightly uh, on my lathe, um, which didn't seem to work on this other uh, fan, but it seems to work okay with this one. Uh, I just had to, I think it was slightly thinner, uh, where, um, yeah, the adapter was, sl I turned it slightly down too far, um, well, it would have been t uh, to fit this rotor, but I just, um, wrapped it in tape till it was the right thickness to, um, fit in that rotor, 
so yeah it seems to work all right with this fan uh, but yeah the supplied ones that they give are complete rubbish it's such a loose fit it, it just doesn't fit them um, nice and tight and just wobbles so uh, yeah let's give this a try in uh, this fan uh, the old uh, cool RC motor and I'll get it on, on the thrust rig and we give it a try okay here we are uh, it's all done in. Uh, I did have to uh, German out round uh, the inside of the motor housing just to get this in. It was only a little bit I had to take off and uh, it fits nice and snugly in there. I've got it fitted with a heat sink. Um, it's quite a chunky one so I can only get one on there. See, it's quite, quite a thick one. Uh, motor I'm going to test it with is I just grabbed it. It's a 200 amp, <laughs> a bit big, but it's a 200 amp red brick ESC. Uh, you don't need very complicated uh, or expensive ESCs on in runners. They should work pretty fine. Uh, it's got no beck, so I've just got it powered by a little uh, two cell Wi-Fi battery. Um, four cell. I'm going to be testing it with is a zippy compact 2700 milliamp 60 c four cell and uh yeah so i've given it a bit of a test but it's the first time i've tried it with fully charged batteries and um let's uh give this a try <laughs> i've just got the uh intake lip just uh taped on for now and uh Let's see what results we get here. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> Only 63 amps. 941 watts there. So it's running way under spec for the motor. There's no temperature there. And, uh, let's give it another run. Whoops. <laughs> it's blew me flying wing off the side there. <laughs> Whoops. I should have moved that. Yeah, gives you an idea of how much that's putting out. Blowing the stuff off the workshop floor. Right. That's not bad, I mean, putting out a good amount of thrust for a four bladed fan. And it's certainly winding up. A bit of a whiny sound though. Um. I think I'm going to try chucking a 5 cell on there. Probably a bit wrong as it's only rated for 16 volts, but um, let's give it a try. Right, I'm going to be trying it with it's a Zippy 2650 milliamp 45C 5 cell. Uh, but this is quite old, this battery, and I think it's getting a bit tired. Um, Last few times I've tried it, the voltage drop has been down quite a bit. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try because it would be a bit safer than putting a ridiculously big, powerful 5 cell on. So um, let's see what results we get here. I, think I might do some full arm's length to get out of the way. <laughs> There, <laughs> you can turn around. See, the voltage drop was quite low there. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. So they're vibrating a bit then. I hope uh, the adapter isn't coming loose or something. But, uh, blind. Let's <laughs> give it another try. Just at that sort of three quarter throttle level. Six. So it's not getting particularly hot there. I'm a bit worried about that wobble at three quarter throttle there. going in it. That's made it a bit warmer. <laughs> Not quite sure about that uh, fan unit. It's probably spinning <laughs> faster than it's probably meant to. degrees there. Yeah, 43. 2.6. So I may, it may just need a fraction more balance in that uh, rotor. I thought I had it pretty good. But, um, <laughs> that's, uh, I reckon that's the most powerful anyone's ever set one of these fans up before. That's pretty mental really. Two kilos of thrust from a four bladed 70, ble 70 uh, mil fan. Alright. Let's try it one more time. On. Didn't make that vibration sound this time. It's still up a tiny bit there. Look at that. That was a bit warmer. Six point two five. Let's see if it uh <coughs> see how long it takes to cool down. down a whole lot so it might be a bit dodgy <laughs> I mean that is running a five cell through it so uh, but it's not like it's blown straight away so I reckon that could be a bit of a mental setup there anyway I'll leave that for now 
that's uh, this motor test of the week on the 70mm chain sum 4 blade fan and the Gould RC 2968 3800 kV motor alright if you like this video yeah, give it a like and uh, if you haven't seen us before subscribe I've got loads of other motor tests to watch and uh, trying to do them every week and there's still lots more to come. Alright, see you then. Bye bye.